Hi everybody, um, so today I'm going to be showing you how to use a tourniquet and the components of a tourniquet. Alright everybody, let's get started. So this is going to be um, how the tourniquet looks unraveled. This component right here is going to be the windlass, so this is where you're going to turn for tightness. So the windlass is attached to this piece of string right here, so as you can see as I'm pulling it, the rest of the tourniquet gets tighter. So it's very important that we don't cut the tourniquet because the string that's embedded in this, um, the body of the tourniquet, it's just gonna unwind. So then after you're done twisting the tourniquet, you're gonna go ahead and latch it onto here, just like so. So you wanna make sure it's latched. So even if you twist, you don't wanna leave it like that and just have it unravel on its own. So you wanna make sure it's latched right there and then you're going to go ahead and write the time. So this black tourniquet is what a real tourniquet looks like. Our training tourniquets are blue and they come in, so when you go on a box, they come in, black ones will come in packages like this. And so you're just going to go ahead and open it. And they come nicely like this. So if you flip it over, this is where you're going to hold it and you're going to snap it open so that it's ready for use. So it's going to come like that and it's going to be ready for easy slip on use. So these training ones are the exact same thing. You're just going to go ahead and twist and then make sure you're latching it on and to write the time when you apply the tourniquet. The way you're going to go ahead and store these tourniquets in your ambulance is you're gonna go ahead and unravel it. You're gonna make sure, you're gonna loop through this ring, come about a third way down, like so. And then you're gonna fold it in half. And then you're just gonna go ahead and store it on your ambulance so that it's ready for use. And that's it, and that's how you use a tourniquet. 